Hi, and welcome to Tuesday Tips with Dr. Laura for that fun, fearless female global community of Christian women with Delinda Lane. Today, I'd like to talk about, it's all about food, and we're going to talk about the soul. Now, did you know that we were created with a special connection? It's called the soul body spirit connection. And you know, it's a really cool connection because each part works together. Today, I'd like to talk about the soul. Um, and one thing about the soul body spirit connection is if one piece is off, then everything is off. So let's talk about the soul and what that definition means, first of all. The soul is an immaterial, immortal part of ourselves that gives us our personality. It's our will, it's our emotions, it's our mind. And all of those three pieces is how we perceive the psychological realm. So the mind part of the soul, for example, is how we think, how we reason, how we remember things, how we wonder about things. The emotional part of the soul is where we have our emotions and our feelings like happiness, anger, sadness, grief, compassion, those times, you know, emotions, those types of emotions. The will part of the soul is how we resolve or choose how we make decisions. So those are all part of the soul, or we can say mindset. I sometimes interchange those two words. So what kinds of foods are you feeding your soul or your mindset? Now, an unhealthy mindset is somebody or an unhealthy soul is you'll see, you'll see people out there that are extremely negative. Um, negativity actually has been in recent years um, through research been identified with uh, illness and disease. They've attached angry people with liver cancer, which is kind of crazy, but um, they have done a lot of studies lately and they've, they've figured out that negativity and um, you know, those kinds of things do cause illness. Negative or unhealthy thoughts also cause a person to basically shut down, which, you know, they will lose their choice. Um, their will is affected. Some, sometimes people lose the will to live, whatever the situation is. Um, behavior that you see, an unhealthy soul type of or mindset of behavior, the behavior you see is anger, emotion, or you might see a victim mentality. Um, a victim mentality example would be something happens to them, they blame everybody else. I mean, you know, and then that's pretty, that's a pretty basic, that might be blunt, but we see it a lot of times, you know, like, um, I did this, but really it was your fault because you caused me to do this. So how do you create a healthy soul or how do you create a healthy mindset? Well, here are some tips or some thoughts about that. The first thing is, is to take it one step at a time. Um, I work in naturopathy and some of my clients have chronic illnesses. And a lot of times I will say to them because they want a quick fix or um, they want to get to a certain point, I will say, you know, the reality of it is it took you time to get to this point. It will take you time to get to your goal. That's the same thing with changing the soul or the mindset one step at a time. It's going to take time to change that. Um, a healthy mindset doesn't overlook good or bad feelings. There is actually strength in that. We, it, we or people that have a healthy mindset um, are strong in knowing that they have feelings. They're strong in understanding their feelings. And they also accept of how they're feeling. You know, a lot of times people will push that away, but to, to have a healthy soul or healthy mindset, um, that strength, they don't overlook good or bad feelings. Another piece is taking responsibility. Just like the victim person of blaming somebody else, uh, one piece to a healthy soul or healthy mindset is take responsible for your reactions and your thoughts. It's actually kind of freeing. Even if you make a mistake, it's actually kind of freeing if you take responsibility. Another piece is focus. Where are you focusing? If you keep focusing on negative, you're gonna just keep cycling and that's going to keep affecting your mindset. Um, don't do it alone is another tip or another thought. Um, we can connect to God. God's there for us. If you connect to God, it's amazing how much your thought process change, changes. 
And the last piece would be, or last tip would be just do it. Do whatever your goal is, or, you know, my goal is to get out of these negative feelings. So I'm going to put into practice this, this, and this. Don't be the person that is getting ready to get ready. Just do it. You know, there's that commercial, just do it. So when the junk gets cleared out, when we change our healthy soul, when, you know, change to a healthy soul and, and get rid of that negative mindset, the body will feel better. A lot of chronic illness starts up here. A lot, of, a lot of negative feelings and stuff, of course, start up here. When you clear that out, you will feel better. So this will be part one of our soul body spirit connection. And next time I will be talking about the body and what we can do with that. So until then, have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye now.